I was living in New Orleans, but Katrina had happened. And because I lost everything, I was determined. I said, this is a time to live to the fullest and pursue my dreams like never before. I told my boss that I was quitting. I said, I'm putting in my notice. I'm going to become a full-time burlesque performer. <laughs> We're all there doing exactly what we want, not just getting naked. We're there expressing ourselves completely. You know, it was like a group that had found each other who probably never had real friendships before this. He was just very determined to find a cure. The word wasn't out there. Not too many people know about sickle cell. He kept saying, you know, to us, he, he was going to get better and everything. When I heard that he died, I was devastated. I just took it so hard. My mom came to me and told me that my brother's best friend John was writing a script before he died for a short film that he then intended to make with his friends. We are making this film in honor of our friend John. He would be so happy that we're doing this. To be honest with you, I had no experience. Somehow I had to learn. We're basically here to ensure that not only their film gets made, but we can tell the story of how they made the film. Zoo has an incredible amount of energy, and so whether he's channeling it into his art, or whether he's channeling it into his dancing, or whether he's channeling it into his relationships, he's a very high energy person and he has a ton of passion that's just pouring out of him. I've seen him go through some very big challenges and handle them with such dignity and grace that when I heard about Zoo getting sick with cancer, I was like, how can that be? You know, I mean, that guy can't be sick, you know, like they can't take him from us. Now that's some stuff. Look at that. That's how my life's going these days. Very nicely, even though I'm supposedly sick with life-threatening diseases, I don't feel too sick. I actually feel uh, pretty darn good. He was the guy who wrote the theme for 30 something, which, which I loved. The first thing I saw was Roseanne, and when the credits went and it said Snuffy Walden, what? Snuffy? How did he do that? Snuffy Walden is probably the most versatile television composer of all time. He would jump up on the drum riser and look me in the face like this and start playing, you know, and go play all these licks and, you know, and, and I'm going, this guy's crazy, I love him. That was our Snuffy. What a lifetime, what a story, what a journey. Obviously the crowd is objectifying me. But I'm choosing to allow that. Because burlesque is body, burlesque is rude, it's not polite, but it's important that you know who you're allowed to make fun of. Nope, nobody's safe. Uh, <laughs> um, there's sort of been this part of me that's always been there, and I've been, you know, afraid to let it out. I knew that was a compliment that I never got, so it must have meant something. One of the main reasons I auditioned for them is because one of the girls looked like me. 
a burlesque show is meant to provoke thoughts in you and um, make you laugh in some cases, make you feel things that force you to look past the boobs. 